Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are watching me for the first time, my name is Sail Agrawal and I've just completed my four years of B.Tech in CSE from IIT Gandhinagar. I'm also going to join DE Show as a software developer in a month. On this channel, I've been making content on how to prepare a DSA well and how to prepare for all those coding rounds and interviews which are based on DSA. Do subscribe to my channel if you want to gather the best tips for preparing DSA. You can watch a playlist on my channel which is called the Complete DSA Guide and you will learn a lot of small things which nobody talks about. Do share this video with your friends and do comment down any queries or suggestions which you may have for me. I will definitely try to answer. So without wasting any time, let's jump on to the topic of this video. This video is going to be very very important for you guys. Most of you guys would have completed your second year or third year and you will enter into your summer vacation as you would know that in most of the engineering colleges in India after the summer vacation ends and the next semester starts most of the companies start their on-campus hiring drives so you don't have much time left it's only two to three months till you will encounter your first company on campus talking about myself when I completed my second year I knew that I had only two months left till the first company arrives on campus and we knew that it is mostly going to be DE Shaw so I did put up a two month grind and I solved exactly 642 questions out of these around 283 were from lead code more than 225 were from geeks for geeks and the remaining ones from code forces. I was a lot consistent. I did put up a lot of effort and I will tell you how I did that. After two months, I was lucky enough to get an internship offer from DE Show. I will share all the tips and tricks which you guys need to know to extract the maximum output from this summer. What questions did I solve? What type of questions did I solve? How much time did I spend in a day? I will tell everything, don't worry. I will share all the resources of all the questions which I did and I hope that you gain something from this video. So the first thing which in my opinion you should understand is is to know about your position of preparation so talking about myself i had already done a cp in my fourth semester i had already solved more than 250 problems on code forces and i had done a online dsa course from where i learned the basics of dsa and i also solved a lot of standard dsa problems so i knew that i had a decent grab on logic building on problem solving so it is up to you to understand your level of preparation you should know whether you are a beginner or an intermediate or at a very good stage so based on uh, upon the level of your preparation the strategy of solving questions in the summer will change so i will talk about myself so i thought that i was at intermediate level i was decent at problem solving logic building i had solved a lot of questions on code forces but till then i had not touched up lead code so as soon as summer started i jumped onto lead code and geeks for geeks and solved a lot of problems because i knew that the type of questions which are asked in the online coding rounds and in the interviews are similar to the ones which are put up on lead code which are put up on geeks for geeks so i targeted those i took a step back from code forces i loved uh, solving uh, questions on code forces but i knew that to grab an internship offer doing lead code is a must doing geeks for geeks is a must so i solved questions on those platforms so what type of questions are solved i was quite consistent with the daily practice problem which is put up on lead code i did that i also picked up the strivers sd sheet which has 191 questions i solved all of those i also solved the top interview questions on lead code and up talking about geeks for geeks i solved the top 50 questions of dp on geeks for geeks top 50 questions of graphs top 50 questions of binary search trees top 50 questions of hash maps and so on i also focused upon solving the company specific questions so if you go on geeks for geeks and put up a company tag you can get the list of questions which are asked by that company in the coding rounds and interviews so focus they come on that is also very very important and the last thing which i want to say is the most important thing is to give contests i used to give a minimum of two to three contests every week which included contests from lead code and contests from code forces i solved a lot of contests during uh, the summer i have stated all this in detail in my previous video i have shared the link of that video in the description you can check that out it will help you a lot so yeah this was all about a person who is at intermediate level so i was at intermediate level and this was the strategy which uh, turned out to be 
very fruitful for me but let's say if you're a beginner you are just starting so i would suggest that you should focus upon the basics of dsa you can pick up a dsa sheet and solve all the questions from that sheet and also side by side you should also focus on giving contests on lead code no need to enter into the world of competitive programming because in two or three months you will not be able to do good at cp uh, with so much of pressure upon you of for cracking an internship or a placement right uh, so just focus uh, upon giving contests on lead code upsolve the questions which you're not able to solve on this contest and for practicing problems you can solve the top interview questions from lead code and let's say if you are weak at a particular topic let's say dp you can go on google and search the top 50 questions of dp from geeks for geeks you can solve that top 50 questions of graphs from geeks for geeks you can solve that too that will help you a lot trust me and lastly before the coding rounds or interviews of a specific company you can also go on geeks for geeks and solve company wise questions that will again help you a lot one more thing which i want to mention is that let's say if you are good at competitive programming and then also i would suggest that please solve a lot of questions on lead code and geeks for geeks because in coding rounds and interviews most of the questions which are asked are similar to the questions which are there on lead code on geeks for geeks on interview but in competitive programming most of the topics like linked lists stacks and queues are not covered but these topics are covered in lead code and in geeks for geeks and many questions and in interviews are being asked from these topics so if you are a good competitive programmer but have not touched upon these topics you will face rejection second point which in my opinion is the most important point is to stay consistent here is my daily progress and if you can see that i was quite consistent and i solved a good amount of questions every single day and the total count is 642 which i solved in 60 days so if you calculate it brings the count to 10 questions a day it might look scary but trust me if you're willing to grab a good internship or a placement this is not much you will have to be consistent you will have to put up the grind you will have to put in the right amount of effort so i would say that please be consistent please do the hard work and believe in yourself trust the process and in the end you will be proud of yourself not for the result but for the kind of consistency you showed but for the kind of effort you put in in that summer in these 60 days trust me you will be a lot more confident person that if you were able to pull off something like this you can do anything in your life one more tip which i want to give you is that please keep track of your progress that will give you immense confidence at the end of each day when you will look back and see how far you have come third point is please revise the questions which you are solving okay so it is highly likely that the question which you are solving on day one you will not remember that question on day 60. it becomes very important to revise all those questions which you were not able to solve or which you thought that are good i have made a detailed video on how to revise dsa questions watch that and trust me it will help you a lot the fourth point which is the last point it is not a point is it it is a request from my side that please don't waste your summer it is the best time for preparation you don't have classes you're completely free so you can obviously put up a grind of at least seven to eight hours a day and solve uh, around eight to nine questions uh, a day right promise yourself that for these two to three months you will put up the grind you will be consistent you will do the hard work with the clarity of mind by not taking too much pressure of the result enjoy the process trust the process and in the end you will definitely get results if sahil agrawal can solve 642 questions in 60 days you can do that too it is just a matter of hard work and consistency that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and got motivated for solving a lot of dsa questions in this summer i will meet you in the next video till then keep learning keep growing and stay healthy